I look like an autumn leaf. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do this very beautiful fall eyeshadow look for you. I picked up the MAC Connect In Color Future Flame palette. I have the neutrals palette and I use it all the time, but I was at the store yesterday and I wanted to play with this one. So this is what I have on my eyes today. It is so much fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna take you through that look. Also, I'm trying out the new Studio Radiance Foundation. I went to the store yesterday and I picked up my color. I posted a video a couple of weeks ago using the Radiance Studio Foundation, Serum Foundation. I, I'm not remembering the full names. They sent me the wrong colors and that was my fault. They asked me to choose my colors and I didn't really pay that much attention. I just went ahead with my old colors that I normally use in MAC. When I went to the store yesterday, I swatched the proper color and that's what I have on today. So I feel like I'm gonna be able to give it a much better test today because I'm not worried about it matching. I'm not worried about blending it out. It is what I have on my skin right now. So if you're new here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm a 52 year old professional makeup artist, licensed hairstylist. I'm trying to grow my channel here. I would love for you to subscribe and comment below, engage with my videos. It would be so helpful. Also, if you're interested in getting any of the products that I use in this video, I'm gonna have all the links in the description box for you. They are affiliate links. If you use them, it doesn't cost you anything, but it sure does help me out. If you don't want to use them, no pressure at all. And yeah, I think I've said everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a look. So I went yesterday to the store and I tested out a couple different colors. I did buy this myself and I want to give it another fair shot. So I picked up NC17. I hope this matches because each day my tan fades because I self tan all the time. When I went into the MAC store, she told me that you have to go a couple shades lower than you normally are. And also when you try it out, let it sit for a minute. This formulation does oxidize. I've already prepped my skin by the way. So I'm going to use my MAC 170 brush. And let's see, yeah, I feel like that's gonna be okay. I need to get my mirror, hold on. I've got the dropsies today. Little bit goes a long way, guys, because it is so hydrating. I have, unfortunately, a service to go to for a friend of ours who lost his mom. So I'm actually leaving the house today. Knowing that this has a lot of skincare in it, I prepped really lightly. Actually, I used my Merit Serum. This is the Great Skin. This is a moisturizer I'm testing out. This is called Timeline. My skin really likes it. It's a nice and light formula. The texture of this is interesting. What I'm finding is you really have to push it into the skin. It almost sits on top of the skin in the beginning, but if you take time and push it in, it sits very nice. Does that match? Yeah. In my last video, I used a sponge as well, and I feel like it's necessary. I would describe it as a rich formulation. So I wouldn't think that if you're oily that you would really like this that much. Let me push it in a little bit. I've been using my house labs in almost every video for the past two weeks and I keep forgetting to talk about it. And it is my favorite concealer. It's in 13 light neutral and oh my gosh, it's pretty. I do have to set it with powder. I don't consider it a self setting concealer, but once it's set, it stays. I'm going to use the Angie hot and flashy a 504. I'm not moving it around a lot, just slightly blending the edges and under. I have a little bit of a violet tone underneath my lash line, so I make sure to clear that up. There's something about this formula that moves with your skin. Yeah, it's a flexible formulation. I'm gonna try the Laura Mercier Loose Powder, and this is in the color Rose. I don't see a lot of people talking about this. And I used it in a live the other day and everybody liked it better. I don't know why in the beginning it didn't really um, attract me that much, but then I saw it live on camera again and it looked really good. So I'm gonna take a BK Beauty 112. I'm gonna tap it off a little bit. I don't wanna to put too much on and make sure there's no creasing yet and then just pat it on. You see how rosy that is? I'm gonna drop the powder all over the place. Hey guys, I went shopping yesterday with my mom and I was looking at clothes to try on, to buy and try on for you guys. Where do you shop? I looked at the Gap, I didn't look at Old Navy, I looked at Zara, okay. 
Before I get going, I'm going to spray a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'm going to use Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and could have used Painterly too. Let me know in the comments, do you have a favorite eyeshadow primer? Do you use an eyeshadow primer or do you prefer to use a concealer? For a change, I'm going to do my brows first so I can really get, oh, that's, I, I got to throw this out. I keep doing that. No, this is garbage. Garbage. Yes. Next, a little bit of brow. Oh, I actually bought, where'd it go? I bought this one, Shape and Shade Brow Tint, and this is in the color Fling. I actually used this in one of my very first TikTok videos. It has powder on the one end, which I never use, and then it has the pen on this side. What I like about it is you can make nice hair strokes. I'm going to just fill in the sparse areas I have been using a brow serum. Hopefully the quality of this video will be good. Oh my goodness. I've had a lot of technical difficulties this last week and I still don't have my Facebook page back, guys. Oh, by the way, uh, Jody Menez and I are going live again on Wednesday. I hope this turns into a regular thing. So Wednesday, what's the date of Wednesday? October 25th, we're going live. And the focus on Wednesday, I think, is gonna be more about hair. If you guys don't know, I am a licensed hairstylist. Honestly, I'm quite basic with my hair. I don't try a ton of products, and that's partly because I just have my one head <laughs> to try on. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer some of your questions for you. If you have any questions about hair, leave them in the comments, and I will be sure to read them out on Wednesday, even if you can't make it for the live. If I don't know the answer, I'll research it for you. So with this pen, you can see that I'm just doing really light feather strokes and this will last. Couple of rogue hairs right there that need to be plucked. There, that's better. Okay, let's get into this shadow palette. I'm so excited. I'm gonna start off fairly light in the beginning. I'm gonna start off with this one right here. This one is called Samosa Silk. Actually, I'm gonna use this one all over the lid. Set my soft ochre paint pot. There's a few new colors in here and there's some older ones. I can see that this has Rule in it, which is an older color. What other colors are in here? Cop ring isn't new, rule isn't new, amber lights, that's not new, embark, that's an old one. Okay, so the new ones I think are Samosa Silk, Louvre at First Sight, Worldwide Wine, La Vida Mocha, What's the Pointism, Dada Issues, Flamboyant, and Blockchain Brick. That's pretty on its own, isn't it? Sometimes that's all you need. Just a little bit of something. I need something on my lips. I'm gonna use Laneige Sleeping Mask. This is in Mango, I believe. Yeah, much better. It's that time of year, guys. Although, it has been nice. Like, today is beautiful outside. October 20th today, and it's still beautiful. Wouldn't it be nice if it was nice for the Halloween trick-or-treaters? I remember getting all dressed up for Halloween, and then we'd have to put our big winter coats on. That's no fun. So now I'm going to use this one right here. I think it's called Dad Dad Issues. I'm just gonna put that right in there and pull it up. I feel like my eyebrows look shiny. I'm not used to that. Blend, blend, blend. Now, this one's called Worldwide Wine. Just tap a little bit on my refer brush. This is 01. If you guys go to Refer's website, I believe it might be down because they're getting ready for new launches, I believe. Ooh, that's pretty. So I always start off in the outer corner and drag it towards the center. I feel like this is blending so much nicer than my Pat McGrath palette. Let me get that palette. It looks very similar. Mm, maybe it's not the same. Nope, not the same. I lied. I thought it was the same, but it's not. So whatever's left on my brush, I'm going to drag it lightly, light, light, light pressure up in that outer corner and drag. Hot flash. Got a little bit of skipping right there, but I feel like that's just me. Yeah, guys, my eyebrows look shiny. Can you see that? Hmm. 
I always get a little piece right there that's empty. So that's when I take my other refer brush. This is a 26 brush and I can get right in the nook. And let me <laughs> spread out my wrinkles. I had to put the fan on, the hot flashes are crazy today. I've got a choice of a few different colors. Those two look similar. I'm gonna use this one called Flamboyant. Place that right there. Amber Lights used to be one of my absolute favorites. Right in there. Yeah. I look like an autumn leaf. From my last little bit, I'm gonna go into what's the pointism. Because it's a little bit tighter in there, I'm taking a little bit of a flat brush and I'm working it over amber lights. Stretch out my skin a little bit. Yeah, pretty guys. Yay, I'm happy. I have a little bit of fallout, just a touch. Hardly any. I am gonna use a 212 BK Beauty brush. It's empty. I just wanna go over the edges and make sure it's all blended so that there's no rough patches or anything. I'm gonna take a BK Beauty 209 and I'm gonna dip into this one again. I don't want it to be too dark, but I would like it to connect. And I'm just gonna take it underneath the bottom lash line. Okay, I think that looks good. Yeah, and I may take that lighter color just in here a little bit. I'm gonna try the end of the shape and shade. It is a powder, because I'm finding that this is quite shiny. Let's see if the other end of the eyebrow product will take that shine away and kind of mat it down and fill the areas. I'm going against the grain, guys. The only thing I wish is that it had a spoolie, but I mean, there's not enough room for the spoolie. I have to steal another one. Hmm. Is that better? Yeah. That took some of the shine down. Yeah, I feel better with that. Curl the lash. I feel like this eye look requires a fuller lash. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow. I've used this a couple of times, but I've been trying so many that I haven't had a chance to really use it a lot. Hopefully it will work out. It was between this one and the YSL Lash Clash, which I really like. So I got Halloween candy at Costco. I need to hide that stuff. It's half gone. I sabotaged us. Did a good job, eh? There's my daughter. Now the wand is thick, so will it be okay for the bottom lashes? Let's see. Or will I make a mess? Nope, I did a good job. Should I double coat it? I don't know that it's necessary, but it's not like me to not double coat. Even though it says one coat well. Let's test out my skin. No, it feels good. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. contour wand. Look how messy this gets though. Is that just me? <laughs> Is it because I squeeze too hard? I'm not sure. I just put some out on the back of my hand. I do love the formula. I'm gonna use my little 109 brush from BK Beauty. It has the perfect angle. I'm gonna use my sponge and just press it out. 
Picked up Mocha Blush. Oh, yeah, I think this will go. Mocha is one of my all-time favorite blushes. Doesn't have a shimmer, so if you want any kind of glow, you can add it after. But my skin is already glowy. Speaking of glowy, I want to add my Laura Mercier Gold Glow, uh, let's see. Yeah, Champagne Pink. It's so pretty. I have shown this before in a video and I believe it was in a short. So nice. Really, really good for mature skin. It looks just like it's wet. Nothing too shiny and it doesn't add texture to my skin anyways. I wouldn't generally add it to my face from the applicator. I just find that I can put too much pressure and then I end up with splooches. But if I add it with a brush or my fingers, it disperses really nice and evenly. Evenly, is that proper grammar? It disperses really nice and even. I think that's better. Maybe just a little bit down my nose, tiny, tiny, tiny little bit, right there. I've used this on my eyes before for my eyeshadow. It's so pretty. I'm heavy on the eyes, so I'm not gonna go crazy for the lips. Really hope that my lips didn't have that lip goober. You know, <laughs> I did a video the other day and at the end I'm like, oh no. You know when you get those stringies from your chapstick or your lip gloss? God, it's very embarrassing. What do you do when you see somebody else have that goober? that kind of attaches from the top lip to the bottom lip. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use Rosewood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah, that tone looks good with this eye look. And I leave it kind of light in the center. Not always, but today I'm going to. Maybe I'll put a gloss over top of it. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Cantaloupe. Oh, that might be nice. Oh, the smell of her lip glosses are so good. If you don't like a sticky lip gloss, don't get this. I like a sticky lip gloss. I think it lasts longer. Yeah, I just like that feeling. Now, if I were to wear my hair down and it blew all over my lipstick, that wouldn't be any good. But in general, I like a sticky lip gloss. I'm not a huge fan of lip oils for that reason because I just find that they slide right off. I just finished filming how I got this look with my hair. I'm gonna hopefully post it in a couple of days. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when this video pops up. And I hope you like this makeup look. If you have any questions, let me know if you have any comments. And also if there's any makeup that you would like me to try out or anything specifically that you would like to see, let me know in the comments. I love getting to know you. And when you comment, it helps me out so much. It helps you to algorithm understand that maybe you know I'm worth showing to other people thank you so much for being here with me and I will see you later bye